Let's talk about Bitcoin, baby. Let's talk about Bitcoin. Hello, welcome back. This is Thomas. In this video, we'll take a look at um, options and where you can find max pain price, prices. So um, in your browser, type in Levitas, L-A-V, I'm sorry, L-A-E, v i t a s dot c h and um you probably want to bookmark that i can never remember it so once you um get that in and you get to their main page uh you can see the options uh, section here i use you can do different uh places but i usually just go to a dare bit and go to activities or oh, activity and then you'll be presented with a lot of uh, different charts and uh, feel free to explore them. They're a lot of fun. And they also have a glossary and guide that's pretty good here. Um, it's got a lot of technical jargon or um, financial jargon, but the more you get exposed to them, the easier it'll get over time. And I'll go through some of these charts in the future. But for today, I want to show you how you uh, can find the... Uh, max pain prices so you get to this chart that says open interest by strike all expirations and you drop this down and you can click on various different uh, time frames so our days and here you have uh, the 15th of January so you click on that and it'll show you the uh, max pain price 43 so today is the 14th so tomorrow they're predicting that the max pain price um, in the uh, options market will be at 43. And what you can do by, um, uh, so yeah. And then you can change that, and you can also maximize this up too. You can just click on the hamburger menu bar and click on view screen, and it'll show you max pain 43 there. So let's go through, and so this is how I map, I'll map uh, Max Payne for um, like on a daily basis just to see what the next few days would look like. And they do change over time. So, you know, like some of these in the future, they'll change as we get closer to them as more people um, buy, uh, do, buy call, uh, op uh, call um, options or they buy put options. So let's go to the um, 16th. But rem if you double check on multiple dates, it'll do an average and it won't show you the um, max pain price. So uncheck that. So you can see on the 16th, they're predicting around 43. Okay. On the 21st, uh, 43K. So it looks like for January, we're going to stick around 43K. And... Um, January the 28th is around 48. This used to be 50, gosh, 55 or 54. And then it dropped um, down to 52 and then slowly dropped down. It's been at 48K for a bit. So um, that tells you a lot where we, about where we're heading. Let's go to February, early February, 44. So go up a little bit. February 25th, 45, March 50, June the 24th, down to 40. That's interesting. Um, so that will give you a nice glimpse of what's coming in the future uh, as far as options is concerned. Um, the max pain price has been pretty consistent when there is decent volume. So how do you find out the volume? So you can go up to this other one. Uh, I'll magnify this up so you can see it. The uh, open interest by expiration. You can see here the 28th has, a, it has more volume than any other uh, dates on this chart. And the 21st got decent amount of, um, well, decent, uh, not, not a lot of volume. So this day right here, you're going to see some price action. That would be pretty good. So when you look at this, you say, okay, the 15th, really low volume. Uh, the 16th, really low volume. So the max pain price may not be that accurate on those days, 
but on these days where the volume is high here on the 28th on the uh, 25th of March and these will change over time um, more than likely the max paying price will be uh, very close uh, the real price the, uh, the spot price or the futures price prices will be very close to the max paying price because there's more incentives for the uh, market makers to inflict the most pain uh, in the market so they can profit and that's what max pain uh, pain helps uh, predict i hope this i hope this was helpful for you uh, please explore uh, this site uh, a lot of data is free I, I don't know how they make up make their money but um yeah it's a phenomenal website uh, for uh, futures and options and also uh, if you go to their um home page this is where you can view um you can also do this for eth ethereum too so that's really cool you can do uh Let's see here. I think you can do, yeah, you can explore and do futures and stuff in here too. So anyways, check it out. If you like the video, click on the thumbs up. If you disliked it, double tap on the thumbs down. Subscribe if you haven't. And click on the notification bell because I'm going to sing to you more often. Thanks. See you next time.